All right, this is the full moon and Aries check in. This highest moon. Let's see what's going on. Meditate and contemplate new moon in Pisces energy. A new romantic cycle begins. New moon and Libra energy. Pluto energy is here, which is Scorpio energy, Selenite crystal, Earth energy. Pluto is here again. Um, I can't remember. I think Pluto is still in retrograde as well. First house came out with hematite crystal. The self ruled by Mars, physical appearance ruled by Aries. Um, it's how we appear to others, how we begin things, consciousness, beginnings, future mishaps. All right. Uh, but hematite crystal, yeah, grounding, manifestation, making the spiritual physical. The element is earth, the root, uh, the chakra is the root chakra, and the affirmation. Through my body, I ground the energies of the light realms in this world. All right, so some of y'all could be working with that crystal to finally got it to do so. Um, you definitely could be reflecting on self, doing some shadow work. I do see the fourth house here, cancer energy, ancestry ruled by the moon. Heritage, roots, caretaker, foundation, environment, mother, housing, household, neighborhood, um, siblings, safety. All right. So these could be the things that um, the areas that you're being divinely guided to work on, heal, reflect on. This um, full moon in Aries is about love and relationships. All right. So you could be getting closer with your family, with your children, with your mother. Your father, yeah, you're definitely going to receive clarity on some type of situation when it comes to your family, yeah. Are they going to receive clarity on you? It could be the fact you have psychic abilities. This could be the fact you are tapping in. Yeah, family and healing, so they could be realizing you are a healer. Um, you could realize a healer, that you have a healer in your family. Willpower is here. <clears throat> Tell me more. I see awareness and fertility. So somebody's aware you are the empress. Third eye chakra, are you aware of who this empress is? Yeah, definitely could be a lever with this balanced energy. Somebody may know that you are chosen or you are aligning yourself with someone who's chosen in your family. Temptation is staying your ground. This is somebody who definitely brings in healing and balancing energy. Definitely is karmic energies here opposing this energy. Um, and you stand your ground against these demonic forces I'm hearing against these karmics. Um, karmics equals karma, karma equals lessons. In other words, these low vibrational people who are intentionally going up against you or you and your family, um, this is spiritual warfare.